Hi, my name is Phil Ebner, and in this video, I'm going to give you a free preview of a lesson from my WordPress for Beginners course on Udemy.com. In this lesson, I'll show you how to edit a WordPress website page and change the site title of your WordPress website. In this lesson, we're going to transform this homepage to look something like this. Yes, it's simple and we're going to build on from here to make it even better later on. But what we need to do is learn how to change the title of the website up here from what it was set at when we actually created our website. And you might have already created it with the right title, but we're going to learn how to change that. And then we're going to learn how to customize our homepage to look something like this with some titles and image and things like removing the page header, which is right here or the page title then also removing this page sidebar right here, which we probably don't want in our home page unless we're creating a website where the home page is a blog theme or a blog designed home page with a list of articles and the sidebar. But for most websites, you want a clean with no sidebar home page. The first thing we'll do is change the site title right here. So there's a couple of different ways to do that within this theme. In general, what you'll do is actually go under settings to general settings. Here you see the site title and the tagline. Let me also show you where you can edit it. Under appearance, if we go to customize, this brings up a lot of different theme options. So under this customize menu, you can see that there's this site identity option. And here we have the same things, the site title and the tagline. So here I can change to editor designs. And then we also want to change the tagline because this is something that the search engines such as Google will look at and display when your site appears in the search. So we don't want it to just say just another WordPress site. We'll want to use our tagline. Now, this is something that you want to think of. You want to make it keyword friendly. You want to make sure that it's catchy and it shows some sort of benefit so that when someone is actually searching for your website, they see your title and they perhaps see your tagline and it really makes them want to click on your website. So let me just say something uh, really quick, something like clean, simple, and DIY woodworking projects for beginners. So that's what my website's going to be about. So now if I save and publish and then refresh, what happens is the site title changes. And so now if I go to this home page, which is our home page and refresh, we now have the Ebner Designs title at the top. Now, one thing I didn't mention is that this is our home page. This home page that I created right now is just a demo page that I created. It's an extra page. So now let's go ahead and see where that page is. So to edit the home page, what you'll have to do is go to pages and all pages. And here you can see that we have the home page, the front page, which we had created and set as the front page. And then this is just a separate page that I added that you don't have to do. I would just edit the home page if you want. So go ahead and click edit home page. So now we have our home page editor. And like I mentioned earlier, we have this text editor box. And this is where we add text, we add content to our page. So for example, we can type in some words. So maybe simple, clean, DIY. I believe that's what I had said before. Simple, modern, DIY. So that could be our top text. Now, if I want to see what this looks like on the actual page, I can click this preview changes button. This, is, this opens up a preview window of our changes right here. So now you can see this text, simple, modern, DIY. Now I'm going to go ahead and close down this preview window. So now we can just kind of compare these two pages, the demo that I created and the one we're working on right now. So the first thing I want to do is actually get rid of this sidebar. That's what this is called. It has different things like here we have recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories. These are called widgets and we're going to learn how to edit the widgets later on. 
this sidebar is something that you can add to many different pages and it stays the same for all of the pages and you can edit this sidebar and the content of the sidebar and what's in it and it will change for all of the pages making it really easy to change what your sidebar looks like across your entire site so to get rid of that sidebar there is typically on most themes an option for layout now this might appear down here below the text editor or the content editor and that's what appears for this theme you have a default template a right sidebar left sidebar a no sidebar and a full width template so if i change to the left sidebar let me just do that and then say preview changes the sidebar goes to the left if i choose no sidebar what happens is there's no sidebar but the width of this content box is kind of skinny compared to this one where the width of this content box is the entire width of the site well at least the menus of the site so we want to change this to actually full width okay so that makes this the full width of the site okay so now let's go ahead and add our next text and I can just type it out or since I already have it I can copy and paste it so let me put this text underneath this top text now if I hit preview changes and look at this, the text at the top simple modern DIY is the same size as the bottom text. So to make this top text larger, in WordPress, when you first install WordPress, you have a few different options for sizes. And this is under this paragraph heading option drop down menu. So if I choose one of these different heading options, it becomes a different size and width or boldness. So if I preview the changes now, we have simple modern DIY and then in the bold text, but it's a different color. So we're going to learn how to change that color in just a minute. But let's center this text. So let's select all of this text and use this align center option. So on this top menu, we have bolding our text, italicizing. We can create bulleted lists, numbered lists. We can do a block quote, which basically indents whatever we select and highlight and choose block quote. We can left, center, or right justify, or align rather. And then we can edit and remove links or hyperlinks if we want to link out to a separate page or a separate website. There's a read more tag, which we'll get into. And then there's a more options with this toggle toolbar option, which allows more things like strike throughs, horizontal lines, changing the text color, clearing any formatting, increasing the indentation, undoing all of those kinds of things that you want in your typical text editor. One other thing you'll notice is that we have two tabs, visual and text. If you do know HTML, you can actually edit your website using HTML. And we might have to do this for a few things in the future. And you can see that there's these HTML tags basically saying that the text within here, simple modern DIY, is a heading one style. That's what that H1 represents right there. But for those of us who are beginners, we don't need to do that. We can just use the visual editor. Okay, so now we have our text. If we preview the changes, now it's centered. Let's add a photo. So to add a photo, I'm just going to return create a new space and then click this add media button. You can see that I already added this photo right here. If I want to add a new photo, I can click this upload files, select files, and then go to my folder where I have my images and you could upload images from wherever, but I have an images folder that I put together for this website. So this is the photo that I uploaded before I already uploaded it, but I just want to show you that I can upload another image say this one, this is a bath ladder. And now it's uploaded to the website. Over here on the right hand side, we have the URL of this photo. So if you wanna go directly to this photo file on the internet, you can go to this link. We have a title for this actual photo. You can add captions and alternative text and a description if you want as well. The alternative text is what appears to the viewer if they, for some reason, there's an issue with loading your image. So if you want, you can take this bathroom title and it's a good idea for search engine optimization optimization and just for usability to have alternative text for your images. And then you have your alignment. So if you want to center it, right justify, left justify, or if you want to link it to a custom URL, say you have a picture and you want to link it to a blog article or another page, you can do that. And then you have size and we can choose four specific options, thumbnail, medium, large, or full size. I'm just going to select large and we can edit this later on too. 
So let me just say insert into page to see what this looks like. So now we have this image in our page. And if we preview changes, we'll see that this image is on our page. It's a little too big though, so let me go ahead and decrease the size. There's different ways to decrease the size. If I click on this image, you see that we get these little tools on the corners of this image where I can grab and literally just shrink the size. If we have a specific size that we want, you can see the numbers appear. Say we want this to be 350 pixels wide. We can just see that and edit it that way. Or we can go into the edit menu. So click the photo, then click edit. And now you see these display settings where there's a custom size option. So if I change the width, say I want it to be 300, it's automatically going to change the height so that it has the same aspect ratio and it doesn't get squished. Here you can also link it to a custom URL if you want. Say I want it just to point back to our home page, we can do that. That doesn't really make much sense. It might not be good to link this to anything unless you do want it to link out to another page. So if we click update now, it's decreased in size. Now if I click preview changes, we have this small image right here. Say I want to actually edit it and add a caption. So if I add a caption, let's just say bathroom ladder, I wanna show you what this looks like. So if I add a caption, say update, for some reason it went to the no alignment, so let's just select the photo and center it. Now it has this caption bathroom ladder, and if I preview the changes, let's see what it looks like on this page. So now on this page, it creates this sort of outline box around the photo with the caption. I don't really like that, and I don't really use captions on my photos much, but you might like that option. So I'm just going to go back, edit, delete the caption, click update. So now we have our website. It's getting closer to what we want it to look like. Here we have this image here. We have the text. It's a little bit more spaced out. It's a different color. And the other difference is we don't have this home title page text right here. So first let's just space out this text here. Basically what I did was a simple space between these simple modern DIY. So I put nine spaces in between each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then there was one extra. So now if we preview this, it'll look better. Oh, we gotta add one more. Now let's change this photo. So I'm just going to click this photo, remove it, go back, add media, and now we already have our two files uploaded. So I can select files that I've previously uploaded, select it, I'm just going to use the large and insert into page. Now we're getting closer. Okay, so we see our two pages. So how do we get from here to here? First, let's change the color of this text. Now the color of your heading text might change how you edit it depending on your theme. But in this theme, we're going to go to our customized theme options. I'm gonna open this up in a new tab by control or command clicking it if you're on a Mac. Under the sparkling options, under typography, we have the heading color option. These are the color headings for all headings H1 to H6. Those are the levels. Remember we saw H1 heading one to heading six. This is just a default color. It's that red that we saw here. That's just the default for this theme. But say we wanna change it to blue, we can just click this blue, or we can just pick a custom color by moving it around. Maybe we want it to be sort of a brown because this is woodworking and we want it to look kind of like wood. Something like that might be kind of cool. So if we save and publish, and then we refresh this page, both our page title heading and our heading right here that we changed this text to changes to brown. So now let's remove this home page title. This gets a little bit advanced, but I know you can follow along. Removing this depends on the theme as well. And whenever you download a th theme or install a new theme, you might have to search, do a little Google search yourself to see how you remove the page title. Sometimes on the edit page page, there is an option for removing the page title. And if you don't see all of the page options or the edit options on this page, what you can do is click this screen options button right here and there are different options that aren't appearing on this editor. So say we want to be able to edit the author, 
and the comments and maybe some custom fields. Let's turn those on and then we can see down below that we have discussions, authors. If we have multiple authors, we can change the author of this page, all kinds of other stuff. So these are more editing options for this page. This isn't going to help us out with the page title, but in some themes, that page title option will appear under your screen options. I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to turn off those options right now because I like having a clean editor. So how do we get rid of this page title? So what I did was I searched for remove page title in sparkling WordPress, and that's all I typed in. And this first option comes from Colorlib, I might be short for color library. This is the creator of this WordPress theme and they give custom CSS that you want to add that will actually change the display off. So I took this code and what I also do, and this is a little tip for you, is I actually add this to a notebook or to a Word document or to something so that if I ever need to change this later or add it again later, I have it. So this is just a tip for you. This might happen with other CSS things as well. So let's go back to our website and where we add this is under this customized page where we were before and then under other. And this is where we can add additional CSS. CSS is basically code that affects the appearance of our website. So I copied that code from that website and if I paste it here, it gets rid of that page header. So you can see basically what this is saying is that the page header, we want the display to turn off. Now I'm a beginner at CSS. I'm a beginner at HTML code, but I was able to figure this out just by a simple Google search and searching around. So if you're using a different theme, you might have to do a little bit of research yourself. So I'm going to save and publish this now. And if I go back to my homepage that I've been editing and refresh, now we have our homepage with our title, not really the title of our website, but these keywords, a little blurb about the website and our image. And the only difference from before is the color of the text, but now we know how to go back and color that text. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, in the next lesson, we're going to be adding to this website. And what we're going to be doing is adding a menu. So this shows our homepage, our blog page, and perhaps even creating some more pages that we'll be editing later on. Thanks for watching. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is just a free preview lecture of my WordPress for Beginners course. The entire course has hours of content and premium support if you ever get stuck. So I'd love to have you inside that course and you can enroll now for just 15 bucks. Click on the link below and we'll see you in class.